Hi friends, I'm Parwiz and this is our 12th video in uh, Django Web Development. So in this video we're going to learn that uh, how you can use QReset, uh, how you can retrieve your data from your database and also render that data to your HTML file. For right now you can see that uh, uh, in here if you see uh, we have uh, some data in our SQLite database so there are five data four data now we want to retrieve this data and we want to render this data in our pools page so right now you can see that there is no data in here so we want to retrieve the data and after that we want to render the data in our uh, HTML file also in this video we will learn that how you can iterate over the data using uh, for loop in uh, Django templates. So now let's uh, open our PyCharm ID. So I have already opened. Uh, now first of all let me, uh, as we have already learned about the query set, that how you can uh, use query sets in Django shell. Now let me just uh, show you that. Uh, so <coughs> now if you see in here we have our pools app. Uh, and we have our models.py so let me just remove some of these files okay now in the models.py we have just a question model or a question table and we have two fields in here uh, okay now so the first thing is uh, let me just open my Django shell in here uh, so first I want to uh, just change the uh, so it's in my site now I can just say Python manage dot py shell and now what I need to do is to import uh, uh, this models from the pools app so I can just say from uh, pools dot models I want to import my question model that I have so this is the question model okay now I can just retrieve the data so we can just say uh, question dot objects dot all and if you see Q you can see that we have these data uh, as we have in our database now we can use the same uh, approach for retrieving the data and after that we are going to send our this data uh, using uh, context variable to the HTML file all right now let's open our views.py so we want to do that in our views.py so and here what I want to do is to first I need to import my question models so in here I'm going to just say from dot models we want to import question model after importing the question model now we need to use our query set so we can just say uh, whatever you can just call it I'm going to just call it pools and we can say question dot objects dot all so we want to use uh, the same approach for retrieving the uh, retrieving our data uh, like this uh, now after this we need to send this data or send retrieve data to our HTML file now using context so I'm going to just say context and it is a dictionary so I'm going to just say pools and pools and in our template render template we need to send our this data now I'm going to open my pools list.html it's the HTML file that I want to render my data and this is the data so let me just remove this br tags from here <coughs> and let me uh, so I want to just use this pools list page okay so right now uh, you can see that uh, <coughs> uh, we don't have the data in here now if you say pools And here you can see that we are receiving the query set in here and you can see that these are the pools or questions that we have in our database uh, now we want to use for loop to iterate over this data 
so let me remove this now in here we can just use for so for pool and pools so we want to trade on our pools and after that uh, make sure that you need to uh, end the for loop so we can just say end for okay now in here we can render our template let me just use a ul tag and because I'm using bootstrap style so I need to just give a class a bootstrap class so it is list group and after that I'm going to use an li tag and I can give it li class it is list group item and in here I can render the pool pools so I can just say pool and now if I refresh my data so you can see that now I have my data in here so for data that I have so uh, like this you can work with the query sets and for loop in Django if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos please subscribe to my channel